Laurel are charged with animal cruelty after a tip leads to the discovery of two severely emaciated and neglected Great Danes. As WJTV 12's Margaret Ann Carter reports, rescuers were able to save the dogs in the nick of time. They're, they're in terrible shape. Dr. Mills said that they would not have lasted another two weeks. Just skin and bones and at least 50 pounds underweight, a call to animal control probably saved the lives of these two Great Danes. Um, they could not even sit down because their hip bones were, were jutting out so badly. So they could sit or stand and even stand standing. They were shaking. They were trembling. And even in their fragile shape, Megan Ainsworth says the two dogs were just so happy to see another human as if they knew Rescue Revolution of Mississippi was there to save them. The black one is super sweet, was walking around the room and laying his head on everybody. Um, and the white one, um, I think, was just still trying to survive. She was just curled up. Both dogs were eaten up with worms, severely anemic, and one has an infected wound. It will take thousands of dollars just to get these dogs back to normalcy. But these two babies are bringing light to an even bigger issue, which is the lack of animal cruelty laws in the state of Mississippi and the amount of abused and neglected animals rescuers are faced with every single day. It's constant. Um, Mississippi is um, uh, has a terrible animal stray problem. We have terrible animal neglect and abuse problems. For every one we rescue, there's 10 more. It makes a difference to that. To that one. And while they're not sure how long these Great Danes endured such terrible conditions, they do know wherever these two pups end up, they'll have unconditional love from here on out. Reporting in Pearl, Margaret Ann Carter, WJTV 12.